Hey YouTube, time to do another video. It's been a few months. I'm trying to keep up with these as much as I can. Um, if you've been watching my channel in the last few weeks, you've probably seen that I've been uploading some shorts here and there, but I uh, haven't done a full, full, uh, full fish room tour for, I don't remember when it was, maybe July, maybe May, I can't remember. But um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, just a basement fish room tour today, just the cichlid tanks and stuff like that. I'll do a separate one with the reef tanks um, and uh, just to try to keep it so it's not so long. Um, but before I get started, I just wanna tell you like always, um, Southern Delight Fish Food, you can order it on uh, my uh, website, aquaticsupportsystems.com. And uh, we sell the regular size bottles and the uh, the uh, bulk bottles as well. Um, show you a regular size bottle right here. That's the power feed. There you go. And then the bulk bottles are like this. Over a pound in most cases, sometimes quite a bit more. But um, yeah. Um, Sorry, I dropped something. Oh, also along with that, going over here to the other room real quick to show you, you may have seen this on my Instagram post, Facebook post a few weeks ago now, it's been a few weeks actually, but um, Cheeto, Cheeto has his own bottle of Southern Delight now. Would you look at that? There we go. There he is large cichlid so once i'm out of the current bottle these are going to be starting to be the ones that ship um, if you want to order one before i run out of the others email me before you uh, when you place your order and say hey i want to i want a cheeto version of large cichlid but uh, yeah i think that's pretty cool um, he's just always been one of those fish that uh, for whatever reason caught on um, on YouTube and things like that people dig him and uh, Southern Delight was like hey let's get a picture of him and put him on the bottle so that's awesome anyway let's go ahead and uh, get the tour going so I guess I'll just give you a first kind of a full room look at it this is right when you come down the stairs those are the two 210 gallon um, Oceanic tanks, the 300 gallon Umbi tank, two 180s, and then the other 300. This is the uh, Marine Land, um, what do you call it, Reef Ready um, Deep Dimension. It's, what is it, three feet? Three feet from front to back, and then six foot wide for a 300. So that's a, that's a nice footprint. Um, I really dig this tank. Why don't we just start off with that tank? Um, this is the Oscar tank, and it's got some convicts, some jewels, some clown loaches, things like that in it. Still really enjoying the Oscars. They're just such a fun fish. I know they're super common for those of you that are, you know, big into rare cichlids, which I am. But I just, uh, you know, I've told you this before. It's been probably over a year now since I got these guys. But um, I just thought it would be cool to get them again and have some of these... Uh, orange and black puppy dogs in, in a tank and, and, and I'm digging it. These guys are fun. They're pigs as everyone knows. They like to eat. Um, why don't I grab some large cichlid here and uh, we'll feed these guys now. Watch them go a little nuts. It's not their normal feeding time so it's going to be probably a little bit different. They're used to getting fed in the morning. I can already tell it's going to be different because by now they would be going crazy. Which, okay, now they're now they are now they realize what's going on. Cool thing about Southern Delight too is these shaker bottles. First fish food to do it. Oh, and it over splashed over. Um, you got the holes, and then trying to do it one handed. The other side, you got the. Uh, Kind of like a Parmesan cheese bottle or a spice bottle. Anyway, 
So that's that. I put a skirt on this tank um, recently just to kind of make it look nicer. And then I hung my aquatic support systems and Brian's fish tank LEDs that uh, local guy here, uh, Danny Chen, made for me here, I don't know, a year or so ago. But anyway, that's that tank. Um, as you can see, there's some clown loaches down in there. I think I got eight of them. Got three or four um, bichers in there. Um, some various convicts. Uh, jewel cichlids are in that tube right now. I think they've been spawning in there. There's almost always some convict fry of some sort, but obviously the uh, the main attraction in here is the Oscars. Um, heading on over here to Cheeto's tank. There's Cheeto. He's Cheeto's an old man. Um, and his lady's still in, well, this isn't his lady. This is actually a female that's one of his, um, one of his, uh, offspring. Um, they sometimes spawn. I would never, and I have never pulled the fry. I just like always to have a male and a female if I can, and was never able to find another female that would breed with him. And this one was just one that I held on to because I liked her nuchal hump. And, uh, yeah. They get along just fine. Still got three of the Red Hook Silver Dollars, some convicts. Here's a nice convict pair right here that almost always uh, has a cloud of fry in the front of the tank right up by this plant. A couple other smaller convicts. Uh, in the back here, this is a uh, albino um, hunter and red points, actually. If I'm not mistaken, but yeah. The convicts are fun too. Other, another super real common fish, but um, you know they're just fun. Small fish that work well in a big cichlid tank if you want to have some additional action in the tank. And then down below we got the Hadiensis. I got a male. This is this male right here. And then I got two females. One on each side of the tank. They pretty much hold their ground on each side. This one, I would say, is the more dominant female, but the, he breeds with both of them. Um, I just pulled a bunch of fry from this female, which doesn't happen much. They usually um, end up eating fry before I even have a chance to pull them. So, James, if you're watching, um, should be able to get you some fry at some point. I pulled them and put them in a 40-gallon breeder, and I'm going to grow them out a little bit. But try to get a close-up here now she had been pretty much all black for a long time and then now she's kind of got the whiter face as she's gotten older but yeah she's she's nice looking but this guy man really like him always like the Hadiensis so I was glad to be able to grow some out after I lost uh, my last big male and, and that. Moving on to the Umbi tank. We'll get a little zoom out first. Rolling around on a chair here. 300 gallon, these are F1 Rio Magdalena Umbies. Rio Mags as they are called. People refer to them as. Sorry about that light. But this is... Uh, Optimus. He's an F1 male from Magnus and Beast, if you know that line. And his female matrix, sorry about the glass, I actually just cleaned it, but I left some smudges. He's been pretty hard on her lately. He, I don't know if he's getting frisky and wants to breed, but she's a little nipped up and she's been taking refuge in the, in the flower pot, but this guy is still a beast. Real fun to, to interact with. Really dig this fish. Glad that I do have him in my fish room. He's real fun. He's getting old too. You can just tell as these fish get older, just like humans, you know, they they show they show age on their faces and their bodies and stuff like that. But we uh, we still love them just the same. Let's see if we can't get him to come out. 
one over. And the glass on this is just awful. Sorry about that, but if you have a fish room, you know how it goes. You think you get your glass clean and as soon as you pull out a camera or your phone or something to take some pictures or video, you're like, what? So, that's Optimus. Then up here, let's kind of move back. This is the, two, the stack of 210 gallons. This is my other Midas. By the way, Cheeto is a Midas cichlid or Amphilophus citronellus. Um, this is Cheeto's brother, actually. He, uh, he was picked up and brought to uh, the Minneapolis, Minnesota area at the same time from down at Scott Hoover's place. Uh, Scott, I forget, I think he's in Oklahoma. LaCour, a good friend of mine, brought them up. And several people in the area received some at some point. And I got this guy and Cheeto from a guy named Boone. This is the male, and then this is the female. They are not related. The female's from a complete different line. They don't, they don't ever spawn. They act like they're going to, but they never do. But this guy is a lot more feisty and doesn't seem to be showing age like Cheeto is. Cheeto's really slowing down. But yeah, this guy, real nice, really dig him. Um, I'm also trying to grow out some loaches in here, and I got a few bichers, um, and then there's uh, some jewels back in the corner here, and um, I'm going to go ahead and put in some small pellets that sink. Um, I'm just going to use the Southern Delight color, which is, this is a real good food too that really helps produce good color in fish. It's a smaller pellet, but you can feed it to your big fish. You know, it's funny, a lot of people are, are like, well, these pellets aren't big enough for my fish, and fish will eat anything, big or small. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just, if it's too big for their mouth, they're not going to eat it, but too small is never a big deal. But see if we can get, you'll see the Midas go up and eat these too, but see if we can get the loaches and the jewels and the bichers to come out. A lot of times they do once uh, these pellets are out. Um, see, there comes one of the jewels. There's another jewel. One or two of my loaches is just, they're looking skinny and not too great, which is a bummer. I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys some power feed too while I'm at it. So they're gonna light power feed again. It's funny, fish get used to feeding time and I always feed them right before I start working in the morning. And I'm not a two time a day feeder. A lot of people are, um, so it's weird. At that time of day, they I walk down here and they all just start going ballistic. But when you, this, it's nighttime right now and when you start feeding your fish at night and they're not used to it, it takes them a minute or two, kind of weird. These jewels are real nice. Here's one of the ornates, ornate bichers. And I've gotten a tank kind of behind the rock there. There's uh, I forget which kind this is. Maybe this is the, or these are the ornates and that one is a uh, Delhezy. Yeah, these are the ornates, I think. And then this is a Delhezy, if I'm not mistaken. One or the other. You can see a couple of the loaches come out now, back there. And of course, I'm looking at the time and I'm, taking longer than I had hoped. I wanted to make this a little bit quicker video, but whatever. You guys that follow me seem to enjoy the videos, whether they're long or short, so do, do whatever. These jewels are super nice. I really like the red color, man. It's kind of funny. These ones up here are a different type of red than these ones back here. They breed all the time here too, but fry gets eaten right away. Down below, I have got a red devil pair. And 
Ophelophus labiatus. Nice big lips on this male. These guys spend most of their time in the flower pot. They breed all the time, spawn all the time, and uh, the fry never make it, but sometimes it's just eggs, sometimes it's free swimmers, sometimes it's wigglers, they never make it. Um, and that was when just the two of them were in the tank alone. I've added some more jewels down here. You can see a bunch of them. And then there's some, uh, some bichers. I see one right here. And some loaches, some pretty small loaches in here that are we're trying to grow out. Um, so I'll go ahead and get some food in here too and see if that draws some of these jewels and loaches and things over to eat. Just let it fall and uh, you can see they're not colored up as red. And the funny thing is um, when I bought these uh, from a local guy, they were just red like these guys in his tank, but that's all that was in it. They were, they were in there alone. When they're in here with the uh, red devils, they're not as colored up. They're probably a little stressed, I would say. They'll get used to it and start to color up as they get older, but I think I got 15 of these little guys in here, which is fun. Um, see if we can get some loaches to start coming out too. If we wait long enough, they might. Um, yeah, there's a couple loaches now. Growing these guys out too. I need to get some more. I love loaches. Clown loaches are just so much fun. Um, I bought the other ones in the Oscar tank when they were already pretty big. I bought the, the ones in these two tanks smaller, and I'm going to keep buying smaller ones in here. Um, just get some nice big groups of them. Now up here, is, there's really a lot of action as they all really have started realizing that there's uh, food in the tank, pellets on the ground, and the gravel, that type of thing. These bichers have really been growing lately and getting nice and fat and plump. And the Midas now are eating the small pellets from the top. These, uh, some of them sink, some of them drop, and uh, or some of them float, I should say. So it's kind of nice, but uh, yeah, check out all the action here. I love that. I love when there's a bunch of stuff going on on the bottom of the tank as well as mid and top. Um, for me, that's kind of like really cool. Got a few loaches out over here. Not a lot of them yet. Let's see if I can't drop. Oh. Some of the fry, you can see if you look closely, some, some black nasty or hadiensis fry in here. Um, what I usually do with these guys is I feed them, it's almost too, too big at this point, Let's see if, where did it go? Is the uh, Nano Krill from Southern Delight, or else I, uh, I also use these Sarah Onips. These are nice, they just drop or you can put them on, stick them on the glass and then fish, small fish will just pick at them. Um, they're kind of made more for like tropical fish, but uh, you know, small little stuff like in planted tanks. I mean, look at what you got on the label here, but they're really good for fry. Um, and what's cool is they just stick. I used to sell these on my website. I don't anymore just because the return on investment wasn't real great. But um, buy them for myself, and I do see you can just see it on there. I don't know if the, the fry will go up there in time. Sometimes it takes them a little while. They're still getting used to it, but um, eventually they will eat it, and they just kind of swarm around it. It's kind of cool, but um, at any rate. Yeah, other than that, um, that's about it. Now we'll just kind of give you a little real quick overview. Just having fun with it, as always. I'll do some reef tank action on another video. But again, if you would, check out AquaticSupportSystems.com. Um, and uh, yeah, get yourself a bottle of large cichlid with, uh, with Cheeto on it. Kind of a cool souvenir item. Until next time, thanks for watching. Later.